<laughs> All right, so we're getting things underway here. Embassy Hardpoint Major One. Fire, who do we have, man? It's gonna it's gonna be a good one, I'm telling you. It's gonna be close it's gonna be closer than what some may think. Uh well, I was pretty close with my guess last time. But I'm I think this is gonna go to game five. So I'm gonna say mm -hmm. three two Carolina. Oh man, that's actually what I'm thinking as well. And uh not <laughs> I know I'm kinda on West Virginia, but um a little struggles here recently. Um, Carolina on the uprise. I think Carolina catches them by surprise here. And, um, we'll see, though, as we start out by watching Hubie. Who the frick is Hubie? Um, gets took out by Imp. That's two kills down for Imp. No one really played for the P1 right now. But he didn't normally know for going for it. Imp looks to go on a three here, but gets took out. Good help there by Widow, but... Two more down in the feet for Carolina. A quick 10-0 lead for West Virginia 20 seconds into the game. Widow going to try and get some of that back. And uh, P1, man, it can be huge if you play it. Mm -hmm. uh, not too long ago, we were... Uh, I want to say I was against uh, Iniquity Colt, and I was casting the game, and it was West Virginia as well, and they held P1 down for 40 seconds at the end to, to take down the Colt. So <laughs> that was pretty amazing here but uh starting out with p2 spawns it's going to be carolina and they're only down six points and um sorry just about having a not so top five there but a great job by west virginia they clear the point one down in the feed though as a tk sorry looking to try to get a couple picks here they might know he's there there's minus one but he gets traded out by hubie west virginia soaking up this time as derpy goes down yeah hubie Yes, it was, and he comes in and takes eat you up off the hill, also known as Vladdy. That's probably what we're going to say tonight. Oh, I almost had the shank. <laughs> Pied game here, 54 seconds into the game, as the teams are on rotation for P3, and it does look like it is West Virginia, for the time being, is going to have this P3 on lock already. One, uh, one obviously getting scraps for Carolina. They'll be down a man already, but look at the spawn. Oh, my goodness. The game done Carolina a favor right there, but a heads-up play by West Virginia to take them out. They find themselves down 10 points here. Throw it in the comments. Let me know how we're doing audio-wise, game and voice. Just let me know, please. I appreciate it. Sorry it's soaking up this time here. Not, not, never mind. I, he is not on the – he's not on the – I'm dead. Yeah, there's two people here, though, and he's going to take one and – Oh, oh the second. It's three down in the feed for Carolina. Appreciate you, Hendo. Appreciate you tuning in, man. West Virginia out to a 15-point lead here. 22 seconds left on the feed. Three money hill. Sorry, he's got to get down, man. That is a bad chow. Vladdy there to get the scraps, though. And the rotation battle is just 50-50 right now as Carolina looks to be set up on P4. Code the man picking up a big kill right there. Somebody chowed old, though, dude. That pays dividends for Carolina. I just realized that they, uh, someone chowed old, and they had, to, they were getting those scraps. And you never know when that one second will come in necessary. Yes, but you don't want to, you don't want to lose swans either. Points getting contested right now. Code looking for him. And Derp takes him out. Derp with a nice double, but gets traded out. Trades everywhere now. Sorry, gets the trade on Hubie. I'm rooting for Hugo. Ooh. Sorry, just missed with those shots. He had the position, but got cut down by... Um, sorry, left the kill feed. <laughs> Hubie set up one next. P5, a crucial one going into P1. It is a 40-point lead, though, in favor of the Thunder. Just soaking up all that scrap. West Virginia kind of slows to rotate. One of the better rotating teams in the league. Derp. Oh, my goodness. A big kill there as he takes out Code the Man. Derp going to wait on his teammates here. Oh, a wonderful read by Derp to pick up Brethren, or however you pronounce it. Derp with a second and 
Sorry gets the other one. West Virginia now controls the hill. They're up 50. They look to add on to it. That was a very good pinch point. Yeah, it was. And that is something that, you know, and I, and I can speak on this since you know, I'm the coach of West Virginia. But it is something that West Virginia struggled with, pushing together as a team. And that, and that dates back to the DCC. So uh, really encouraging to see right there if you're a fan of the Thunder. And it's three down in the feed, four down in the feed for Carolina as West Virginia has doubled up on them. Virginia Dirk's, looking strong. So. Yes, they are. Dirk 16 and 11 now as he got took out there. Everybody positive on the side of the Thunder, though. Once again, guys, we appreciate everybody tuning in to today's Major 1 matchup. We've got another game at 12.30 <laughs> Eastern time. Not for sure who's going to cast it. I'm hoping Huff gets back to me by then. But um, that is between the Chicago Exceed and the Iniquity Cult. Dirk going to get a pick here on mid, but gets traded out immediately by Hubie. Hubie kind of being the uh, leader right now for Carolina. He is 11 and 12. And Carolina's got to get something going here, Fire. I mean, they've got to string together a hill. They've got to, you know, start winning some of these gunfights. Derp is just insane and takes out Widow. But uh, Carolina still needs some of this P1 time, which is huge. As Brethren gets two. Oh, my God. Three oh my for Brethren. My God. An answer five comes in. The story takes out Widow. That is huge for Brother, man. If he can get going, Carolina's back in this. Can I get the caster roll so we can go to listening? Oh, frick. Uh, fire, handle the casting for a minute. Yes, sir. We got Carolina with Virginia looks like he's spawning out. He goes to capture his spawn. You good? Derpy holding down this point for West Virginia, building up that time. Carolina are going to be rotating back through the spawns, trying to secure them for themselves. And it looks like they got him. West Virginia spawning out. Carolina getting the time for this point. Only down by a, a point, basically. You now should have the cast to roll. It doesn't matter which team you want to go in and listen to, just make sure you let us know. Do you want to go in now or not yet? Go right ahead, man. Alrighty, everyone bear with us. We are now going with a listen in with one of the team. Blow you, blow you. Orange, 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 orange. Oh, dude, what's back that time? Back that time, Widow. Back that time. They got me from. Oh, man, they picked that. They pitched that really hard. Alright, hey, let's go. Let's go to the piece here. Where are they spawning? Okay, we gotta figure out where they're spawning. They're spawning towards tennis. They're spawning towards tennis. They have one. One in orange. Heard. Pushing up. Don't one, tell us. Two tennis. Two tennis. Both are sign right now. One's watching mid from sign. One dead. Two dead. Don't watch my orange. Gonna tennis. I'm gonna flank tennis. Dude, he's. Oh my gosh. Nice. Good trade. I got caught in my reload. Welcome back, Lusty. If we could just get that screen back up there. Yes, sir. Um, I believe you went in with a, a listening with Carolina. How were the comms? I mean, I'm not going to lie. The Carol uh, the comms were really clear. I just, they weren't getting any trades. They weren't getting any kills at all. The comms, the comms are really great. It's just, the kills weren't there. Well, much credit to Carolina because a lot of teams, when they start to, to kind of struggle a little bit you know those comms go down so uh, being down 60 points here it's still always a game so you got to keep those comms up as uh we're on widow now as we just mentioned about a 60 point game here and just a few kills string in, uh, a few my god i can't talk to them my apologies a few hills here and you're right back in if you're carolina as widow with a nice two we're going to try and get some of this time here on P4 and a 3 out of Widow. He's on a 4 kill streak combined. Really feeling it now. Yes, he is. 19 seconds left, and I believe West Virginia is going to let him have it. So that 14 seconds, man, that's going to put him at about the 163-2 mark. So they're going to be down about 50 points heading into this P5. But if you look at the bottom left-hand corner of your map, just a wonderful setup out of West Virginia. They've got going on next on holding spawns and all lanes being cut off right now. Oh, a big kill there on Derpy. His widow is just continuing his streak. Finally, somebody puts 
and into his reign of terror. I believe that was bloody. Taking him out right there. 25 seconds needed for West Virginia to secure this victory as Vladdy runs into an army. I'm sorry with two. Once again, trades, valuable trades right now, but it is still West Virginia holding the hill. Sorry, 21 and 17 on this one on a three kill streak. They can win off of this. Carolina's going to have to really band together here with one good push. Sorry, pushing out. Gets took out by Hubie. Eight seconds left for victory for the Thunder. Brethren chowing in. They're just kind of chowing solo right now, which, uh, you know, three points left for victory. That's kind of what you got to do. As that one, it will go to the Thunder. And, and of course, we're not trying to, you know, insult anybody. A great effort by Carolina. But um, right there at the end, man, you know, uh, Carolina had a chance. Yes, West Virginia was about 20, 25 points from winning. But plenty, um, plenty of time to string together a break there. To plan something and um, they just kind of kept chowing one by one and uh, West Virginia just kept mowing them down derpy with 33 kills my god man yeah what a game we'll have to see though if Carolina gets in their head about it or if they stay strong and try to come back No, you're right about that. And, you know, West Virginia, they can get a little cocky, man. they got a couple cocky players. So, you know, oh, yeah. uh, right now, if you're the coach, or, well, I mean, I guess the acting coach of West Virginia, <laughs> you got to keep your guys calm down. You know, you're up one nothing. It means absolutely nothing. You know, right. the series is over. The biggest mistakes I see players and teams make is uh, they let the previous game affect them way too much whether that's overconfidence from winning or underconfidence from losing. Uh, something I like to live by is every new game is a new game. You start fresh. you got to keep it that way. Yeah, I agree with you right there, man. And um, I don't think Carolina um, is really going to let that loss bother them. You know, I got a little sneak peek of the comms um, while Lusty was in there with them, and um, you know, yeah, they were pretty decent comms for being down 60. And um, during that stretch, they wasn't really winning any gunfights, but the comms were still there. So, um, But if you are code right now, which is the head coach of Carolina, you just got to make sure everybody stays level-headed. You know, you're down 0-1. Let's make it 1-1. It goes back, right back to what you were saying. And we can't say it enough. We'll probably say it every stream for the next four, five <laughs> deep seasons. But, <laughs> but you... You can't let the last one affect you. And, no. it, and it goes both ways. As I do believe we're ready for... Game two. Yeah, game two. It's going to be Hotel Search and Destroy. So we got him though in the chat choosing who to spectate. Who are we spectating? Hubie off the rip. Okay. You heard that, Lusty, right off the rip. Let's watch Hubie. Every time you say hotel, I have flashbacks to Vanguard. All right, so we're going to ignore the second choose to spectate <laughs> because to my reps, 12 is actually sorry. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> nice try, man. Nice try. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Once again, guys, we do appreciate everybody tuning in on this Friday night in the DGL. Uh, got a good one. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't neck and neck, so to say, but it wasn't a blowout either. And you know, Carolina, um, once again, they were in that they put themselves in a situation to win. And you know, that that's what you need to do each and every game is someone is on eighty ping, holy Moses. All right, so as requested, starting out with Hubie. Once again, search and destroy a full A rush here. Will someone read it? I do believe that West Virginia has a sniper, which is amped back in the tunnel. Do what he was capable of. Oh, you oh. with the kill, and I'm glad you chose it. Nice kill there to make it a 3v3 now. Amp and code out of the, out of the round. Appreciate you tuning in, Rain. 
Appreciate you, man. Hey, we've got a game at 12.30 if you want to cast it. <laughs> oh, man. Hubie putting the bomb down here. Does he have a sniper and bomb? Yeah, he, he does. does. Get out, I don't believe that bomb was planted. Derpy gets took out by Widow, though, so big trades here. It's a 2v2. And I think Widow, Widow has some comms here. As he's going to take out Sorry. And now last alive is Vladdy for the Thunder. So now Bomb is down. Gotta wonder if he hears him thumping around. Oh, yeah, oh you know he does, man, but... I'm oh, maybe not. Oh, well, that is unfortunate for Vladdy. And boy, Brethren was over there jumping up and down, so... Um, it, it appeared that Vladdy heard him through what we saw. But... Uh, <laughs> Apparently not. Widow. Maybe, maybe he like heard him from kitchen somehow? I don't know. That's how it looked like when he slammed the door open. Yeah, I'm not for sure on that. That was questionable right there. Not enough for not for top five. But... <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely have to go back and uh, look at that with sound because we don't have sound from our end. Mm -hmm. Widow 3-0 and feeling it right now. And they need this out of him. But West Virginia with that surprise B push. But number seven still in the vicinity of A. That's sorry. Code the man watching B. And number four now in rotations. Hubie coming over to B. Oh, Code. I'm sure the Code's got to have an angle right here, man. Yes, and they are playing this really good. That's an automatic kill if they come in. Sorry with the kill on Brethren, though. And uh, you had a good angle. Not for sure why, why you moved from it. But it does appear West Virginia is going to rotate this back to A. Will Carolina pick up on it, though? Widow's still in the same spot he was in about 50 seconds ago. <laughs> You've got to be aware of that. Widow's going to cook the nade. Will the bomb get put down? Vladdy probably will die to this nade. He doesn't, actually. It's a 4v2 in favor of the Thunder. QB and Widow versus all of us Virginia now, except for Imp. The Widow might... Oh, my goodness. A 2v2 now. 20 seconds left on the bomb. A massive kill out of Hubie right here. And Blast Alive is eat you up. And he goes down. And Carolina going to go up two to nothing in this game. West Virginia had the setup, man. But just, my God, credit to Carolina. Yes, yeah, sir. That was a very hard thing to break. Wow. It's a nice little advantage being up to a. Uh... Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's not forever, though. That can be lost very quickly. Big advantage advantage when you have Widow and your team start and get the game 5 and 0. Oh. <laughs> Huge pickup. QB 3 and 1 right behind him. So, what will Carolina do to go up 3 to nothing? Vladdy going out. Turn on Daddy immediately. Fire, take over for a minute, please. But he's going to keep up on this flank going through his to pick up Brother, and he does. Got to get that call out, though, if you're Carolina. He's going to splash over to Code here, fight for his life in kitchen. He's going to the bomb, then he's going to go back freezer, but his straight maid still catches him out. Widow gets the trade, I'm sorry. Carolina going to keep getting this bomb back. Vladdy was behind him, though, going to shoot him out. That leaves Widow last alive in a 1v3. <clears throat> My apologies, man. Of course, started going off. No problem. Jesus. My apologies to everyone. I'm back and a rebound win for West Virginia to put themselves on the board. All righty. So someone finally takes Widow out, who was 6-0. Oh. 
he did get the cruise missile, though. This could be huge for Carolina. We're pulling the tech out now, trying to prevent an A push here. Virginia playing this very slow, trying to play for that pick as Judy got put on sorry, but eat you up. Gets the answer and takes out brethren. Number four on flank and number six amp watching. UB finds amp. And uh, hopefully that information got called out as UB takes imp out big kill there. And Carolina going to go up three to one here. So West Virginia a little uh, disoriented, uh, uh, so to say, in the search. A little uh, frazzled as well. They're just not winning their gunnies. I mean, just Ample's watching the back flank, and you know that that's an easy kill. You got to pick up on it, and uh, he becomes in, takes them out, and um, not for sure how uh, the other player died. <laughs> the way Carolina's got to capitalize on it. Rain, I don't believe I will, man. I'm just really losing interest in in, in competitive play. Oh, you heard it live. I, I mean, if we move on, I don't want to give you guys an easy win, man. I was people better than me on my team. <laughs> It'd be fun, though. Stream team. No. Oh. QB here on the lower bar. Nading couches. Nothing over there, though. As Vladdy gets first blood. 4v3 advantage. Derpy takes out QB. Nice headshot there from Derp. And now a 4v2 advantage for the Thunder. And a big round for them. Brethren now last alive as Imp takes out Code. Um, and we didn't see what happened there, but the Thunder is going to get the victory. If you're just tuning in, West Virginia Thunder up one to nothing in the series after a 250 to 160 hard point win. On Embassy, find themselves trailing here though, two to three in this game two hotel search and destroy. On the side of the Thunder, I mean, everybody's kind of in that same area, man. If you look at Carolina, two players 0 and 4, but they still find themselves up around. Widow gonna nade the point here and takes out Vladdy. He couldn't do that time, but got it done this time. Derp on a flank, not for sure if he's running dead or not, and oh my goodness, almost dies oh, there, but gets the kill <laughs> um, after M takes out Hubie. It's a 2v2 now. Bomb down on A. Oh, M just walked right by somebody. In side cafe, useless, whatever you call it. They probably yeah, just hard. probably just heard him jump right there and Imp goes down there, and oh, Brethren, I believe that was, holy Moses, takes out Derpy to end the round, and the Warriors up 4-2 to two in this one. What a shot. Goodness, I could never. No, you couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was a Minecraft professional, all right? <laughs> Oh, man. 18 people with us here. Appreciate everybody. Once again, we've got another game at 1230. If we can yes, find a, a PC caster, I, I mean, I guess I can do that too. But um, Rain, if any of you PC players want to do it at 1230, an hour from now, it would be a tremendous help. It is between the Exceed and the Cult. It's, as we're now in this round seven of search, I'm getting first blood on code. And oh, Vladdy got him. Oh, he didn't see him. Brethren with the answer takes out Vladdy. And Derp had an easy kill too, but he just didn't see him lower bar. I think Widow might have hurt him. A big kill there from Derp. Good comms from West Virginia to get that kill. 
Sorry takes out brethren. Last alive is Hubie, five and four. Not a bad person to having a last alive situation. If Sorry knows he's here, uh, it would be a good thing to play his life as he must have and heard him leave. And he's on his way over to be activating Deddy in a good uh, situation now, but that pre-fire might come back to haunt him as West Virginia now closing in on the point. A good pinch being lined up right now, but Derpy's going to go down. Four seconds left. And West Virginia's going to win the round. Uh, maybe another 30 seconds right there, Fire, and and we might be uh, we might be going up to a 5-2 ball game, but um, because Hubie, man, he he took Derp out fast, and um, if that gun would have been reloaded, that would have been an easy kill on Sorry, and then it would have lined up a one v one. So, wow, absolutely. <clears throat> but part of this is using what time he got, and West Virginia definitely used that to their advantage. Yep. Keep in mind, though, as unless I miss something, Widow still has that. Um. Cruise. Yes, thank you. <laughs> oh, what a day, man. Oh, oh the no. hey, that is tragic. <laughs> Glad he knows someone's here, though. The nade is in, code is hurt. And now they are challenged. Glad he coming in, gets the kill, bomb going down on B. That's hard West to Virginia work. recovering well after that TK. That that one hurt because that, that could have been avoided. I'm not saying it was on purpose, it wasn't. As Emp gets to kill their own brethren. Ooh, now Widow. Just... Yeah, Widow left to life here, man. And... It's doable. It's definitely doable. Using... He's 9 and 4 in this one. I'm using the rocket if I'm. Oh my. Mm. <laughs> Instantly died. Yep. West Virginia takes that round now, tied 4 to 4 in this one. When will we see the crews be put into play? If I had to guess in two rounds. What? <laughs> I mean, either way, in two rounds, it's going to be last. So, if I'm them, I'm using it as a final. Mm -hmm. Hoorah. I don't think that would be too bad, Mac. I just don't want people saying the F, you know, the F word. You know? Yeah. If anybody watched yesterday, uh, <laughs> CJ said it like 13 times. <laughs> that was hilarious. Widow pushing up B rush here by Carolina. Will West Virginia read it? I believe that is number seven. Sorry over there. He does get the kill on Widow. That's a big kill. One of Carolina's better players. And he is down in this one. And the knife from Sorry. The three from Sorry. The body shot. My God. Brethren last alive. Sorry, going for the ace. Absolutely huge right there. And he gets a little too cocky there as Brethren comes in and takes him out. That is the sorry uh, special. Yeah, Two definitely the... <laughs> definitely the sorry special, man. Yeah, I believe in Brethren. I, I bet he's got this. Yeah, he's going to acquire bomb and he's going to stick it here on B. Two people here. And the call out is out. Brother in absolute. Oh, I'd be terrified right now. Yes, you would. And he's going to go down, and it's going to go five to four, West Virginia. And I can bet that cruise missile is going to come out here. Oh, absolutely. And West Virginia, man, they're a team that starts out very slow. I believe it was when they played the Iniquity Cult the other day. They fell down four to two in search, and it was on this map, and they came back to win at six to four. And they are on track to potentially do that again. As a, they have really made this a game, and it very well, you know, a few rounds ago, could have very well went five v two, five to two. Jesus, <laughs> oh my goodness! Sorry, with the dolphin dive down into lower bar, and that bomb is going down fast for West Virginia, putting all the pressure on Carolina. Sorry, gets out with his life. Barely. Yes. And Carolina will have 30 seconds to kill everyone and defuse the bomb right here. 
And uh, oh my goodness, um, almost another not so top five. <laughs> or sees him, takes him out. It's a 3v3 though. Is someone watching the bomb though? No one is, but no one's hopping to be here. Tenth of the two takes out Hubie and Brethren. Widow last alive for the Warriors and their last chance. He's just going to play his life back here and put out a cruise that means absolutely nothing. Yeah. Um, but wow, West Virginia completes the comeback. I didn't expect it. And we'll go up two to nothing in the series. Carolina controlled most of that game, man. But it was oh, yeah. like I just said, it was just as we seen the Thunder with the Colt the other day. You know, start out slow, go down four to two, but then you know, you know, four straight wins. <laughs> That's a good way to win the game. Alrighty, so a six to four victory puts West Virginia up two to nothing in the series. The winner of this game plays Team Unfortunate. We are lucky enough to have the head coach of Team Unfortunate doing some film watching right now in the chat. <laughs> but that game, not for sure when that game will be actually. <laughs> uh, we're just kind of letting the teams schedule when they can, but hopefully we will be playing the championship Friday. I'm I'm hoping. Major one championship. Once again, we're a major behind the pros. Um, due to having to cancel uh, the first attempt at the DGL. And we decided to just start all the way back over with major one so that our major, or not, my apologies, our champs didn't interfere with the pro champs. So after the pros finished their champs, still Call of Duty left to play for the DGL. Losers play Kata Gaming. You heard it here first from Hendo, the assistant coach of Kata, doing some film watching. So game three, Hotel Control. So what do you think? Is Carolina going to make a comeback here? Or is Virginia going to take the 3-0? Well, West Virginia, um, they've got a good shot at getting a 3-0 here. Statistically, I want to say it was Huff telling me this, West Virginia, I believe, has the best record in control in the entire league, which obviously this early doesn't mean a whole lot. No. You know, not everybody has played each other yet. I'm still Rain holding says, out hope. Sorry. Rain says he hates ads, man. Hey, those ads are getting us like 20 cents right now. <laughs> we appreciate everybody tuning in. That 20 cents goes to the uh, the end cash pot. No, it doesn't. <laughs> You're right. It goes to my gas tank. Okay. I'm still rooting for Carolina. It's, it's going to be biased. But up, I mean, I would say this regardless. Up to nothing. West Virginia going kind of dominated control last time. I think this round goes to West Virginia. Cope and Manda with first blood. There's Carolina attacking and West Virginia on defense here as a quick three nothing or quick three down for West Virginia and Carolina on this point. Glad he got a glad he got a this man. Oh, he had a heck of an opportunity there. Progress still being made at B. Finally, they killed him off. His brother going to wait for his teammates. Two ticks on B, though. That was crucial for Carolina with winning this round. And Derpy and Brethren in a heck of a battle right now. <laughs> now progress being made at A. Everybody for Carolina over there, except for number four, Brethren. Sorry, challenge this. I'm going to get took out. Probably should have played that a little bit more patient. So A is going to go in favor of Carolina. And it's going to put all the pressure on West Virginia as they are going to have two minutes 
to keep Carolina off of this hill. As a two down in defeat, Asari and Derpy take out Widow and Brethren. Got to keep house control. 100% house, bed, whatever you call it. We hope that everybody is back from the ads that some were just slammed with. <laughs> we can't control that, I wish we could. Or at least I don't know how to. Once again, a minute 40 left for Carolina to just get one tick at B. And Brethren going to hop it and gets took out immediately by Derpy. Derpy gets two, taking out Widow. And he get a third. Derpy gets the third, takes out Code the man on an absolute tear right now on a five kill streak. A cruise would be huge in this game, and he's going to get it now on a six kill streak. They've got to get Derpy out of here. Whew, if he would have got that. That's three down in the feed for West Virginia, and now Carolina can push. They are on it. Vladdy is going to have to come up big here, and he can't. So that's going to be six ticks. For Carolina, which could come up big if we go to a round five. We'll have to see if they uh, <clears throat> if they use that cruise better than Carolina last game. Yeah, um, not for sure why that cruise was used earlier, man. No, not you know hanging on to that thought, but using it as the game was expiring. Uh, kind of questionable. As West Virginia going to go over and get the guaranteed ticks? Carolina playing um, a questionable defense right now. Sending two to A. Let's see if it works out for them. Though. Two down in the feed. Out, yeah, I mean, it's working out so far. So, you know, don't listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> Derpy, sees, Derpy sees Code over there. Code going to launch the nade. 30 v 25. Der uh, Imp finally gets a kill there, but Widow gets the answer on Derp. And uh, putting pressure on A, not, not a bad uh, not a bad player out of Carolina. Uh, Widow's going to get another one pre firing. Um, I think we should go to a listen in with West Virginia, see how they get out of the spawn trap. Dead. One in mid bar. Mid bar. I got the back side calf right now. Just watch the front. Come in, kitchen. Yeah. He's got one. Don't peek him. Flashing him. Nate is like a. Watch behind you, behind you, two pushing. Yeah, there's two, there's two, hey. Second, I guess. I can watch couch. Somebody. somebody watch couch. I got you, got you. Especially when you're the coach. <laughs> All right, <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> All righty, we are back in the action. Let's see, how were the comms on West Virginia's side? I mean, for them being up 2-0 in the series, not control. I'm talking about the series. Their comms sounded a little frustrated, and they were a little too quiet for me, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just as I kind of guessed. <laughs> All right, so two nothing lead in this control for West. For, I mean, uh, for Carolina, <coughs> and West Virginia is going to, have to put something together fast here. Mm. They need to get their heads back in the game. Yeah, but if you're Carolina, you just got to keep pushing. Code having a great game at twelve and five, a huge Especially rebound from that search. Oh yeah. Gonna is that what you was going to say? Yeah. <laughs> we're too similar. No, we're not. So watching Code the man here is just having a great game. Him and Brethren combining right now for 25 and 8. K and two down in defeat once again. Just dominant right now for Carolina to start the rounds.
Better. We're gonna get another pick here. Coach following up on that. You'd be just five and four, man. Kind of sitting back on that one. Two down in the feed for Imp. Trying to get something going. And B is took. Took and took. And Imp just kind of staring. And all the pressure on West Virginia right now. I mean, they, they, now they've got to defend A for two minutes, which that's about impossible. But if you're going to do it, you got to get pushed up into the spawn here. And you got, got to camp corners, win your gunfights. Big nade from Vladdy. Nobody watching the flank right now for West Virginia. They might bite him because it looks like someone's on it. B is gone, but West Virginia does have the life advantage. I won. I have to play that really carefully. Sorry, takes out QB, but he's kind of the, the factor right now. And you know, you start two and ten, that, that you know that hurts your team. You know, he's a better player than that. If he gets going, they could turn this around, but. Now progress being made today. Not looking good for West Virginia in this one. At the, I don't want to say it. Don't, I don't want to say chalk it. But at some point, make a decision on if you're just preparing yourself for the next game. Right. And not letting the rest of this game aggravate, you could say. Glad he gets one. Going to need some help, though, from his team. That's two ticks on A, and... Well, I believe this is going to be a 3 nothing for Carolina. The trades come in, but it's too little too late, and uh, it is going to be a 3 nothing victory here for the Warriors. Good stuff by Carolina. Oh, 100% down 0-2 in the series, and now they are on the board, and we've got a good one here, 1-2. One, one That's when you got to lock it down the most. Mm-hmm, 100%. We'll just have to see how uh, West Virginia counters from it, recovers from it. I mean, if they do. I just have a quick comment to say. Go right ahead. So statistically, you said West Virginia was the best team in control. They just got 3 out. I did. <laughs> so that should be great momentum for Carolina coming into this oh, HP. In my opinion, I think this might be a, a game five. Hey, that's what I predicted. I, I agree. And, and I'm going to say this. If you're West Virginia, if you're going to win this series, you need to do it in the hard point. If this goes to a game five, the odds are not in your favor. Mm -hmm. Carolina's got momentum right now. You've got to start this hard point out fast. Once again, guys, we'll build another game coming up at 1230 between the Exceed and the Colt. Really hoping to get that one casted, but I don't believe Huff's going back to me. No. He might do it, Hendo. He's had a heck of a series other than, you know, a little rough in that hard point, but he got warmed up and well, it was a great player. Don't know him all that well. I think I've only played like one game with him, but a uh, great player, great comms. I like communi Communication-wise, right now, Carolina's the better team and West Virginia is going to have to show them that they are not. But Carolina is in a good position right now. West Virginia up two to one in the series over the Carolina Warriors. Fortress Hardpoint, man. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. 
this was a pick from Carolina. Their favorite. No, I, I can say that live on stream. Actually, Ugh. can't give away hints, man. Can't give away hints. Live censorship. <laughs> so West Virginia looks like they are going to try and go immediately for P one. I mean, uh, for P two spawns. Not even caring about P one, but you can't go down too much here. As Brethren starts things out with first blood, but the answer by Dirk. QB on behind that heady takes out Sorry. Trades everywhere right now in the feed. Brethren starting out 3 1. Bonnet gets took out. QB's class gives you bad vibes. Hey, that's, that's my. Uh, I got that uh, slide on my Vazmev, man. It's called needing assistance in Amy. <laughs> no offense toward Hubie. I mean that toward myself. Brethren with a big kill there. Two down in the feed for West Virginia. Carolina's going to start out with the point, and I do believe they've got spawns. West Virginia getting a lot of that P1 time. Carolina Fun. getting a lot of the P2. Yeah. You're fine. Y'all have to play this together if you're West Virginia. As Amp is down, Derp is down. And they're not really chowing anything. They're just kind of playing. They're just containing right now. Trying to keep. Well, that's, uh, that's a big break. That's a big break. But spawns flipped. So you gave up spawns, and they're going to get about 15 seconds here. 15, 20 seconds of strap time. Hey, man, yeah, I got that red. I got the red dot on the Vaz, man. <laughs> oh, frick. And not a great position for Virginia. They have the lead now, but Carolina has bonds for next. The brethren has just been absolutely huge in this series and seven and two now, but uh, West Virginia doing a great job of keeping this hill white. If you're not going to get time off of it, keep it white. And Laddie going to run into a gunfight here with UB. Late reaction there, but um, his buddy from behind gets him. Call out's got to be there as Vladdy takes out Code the Man. Someone's got to hop on hill at some point. <laughs> Nobody. Yeah. They were waiting to clear. It's not a bad, not a bad option. But they did give him about five seconds of scrap right there just to get killed off anyways. Number seven now going to go over and get that time. He's going to have two gunfights on him. That is Imp. And he gets took out there. The reaction time just not there with West Virginia. It kind of makes you wonder if there's a ping diff somewhere in there. As Dirk takes out QB. Five-point lead for a four-point lead for West Virginia. As we head into P4 as Widow is took down. Up or how does West Virginia handle this? They don't. They get killed off the point. Four down for West Virginia as now Carolina hops on the hill. Once again, we just want to always thank everyone for supporting us. It goes a long way and we appreciate it. And I'm going to clear the point. Great kill from Amp right there, but man, you got to pre aim that. <coughs> <clears throat> My apologies. Letty took out there, and it's just another three down in the feed for West Virginia. Hubie could be set up really good right here, man, depending on who peaks and who doesn't. As Brethren gets took out by Amp, Vladdy controlling the top maps. And West Virginia is going to have spawns here. They're going to start out with the point as well. Vladdy knows Code is coming, but Code wins the fight. That was absolutely huge. Carolina up 20 points, but West Virginia trying to get that comeback in as Brethren is tucked down. Vladdy is tucked down. And Carolina controls the hill once again. Ill contested right now. Vladdy with a two big kills, almost shooting his teammate there. He is trying to fill it here, man. And 
gonna jump on code and Vladdy's gonna get these scripts as long as he doesn't over chow here. Did we just have a spawn flip? I believe we did. Number seven got back there again with the spawn. Dirk gets a kill. West Virginia's gonna start out on P1. That's huge. Absolutely huge. Sorry coming over to help Derp and Sorry gets the kill. He gets a double there. He's struggling right now, man, but a, a couple kills gets him going. There's three for Sorry. Imp right there gets the kill from West Virginia trying to get back in this. Sorry, he gets took down there, though. Bomb flipped again, I believe. Hubie now challenging Dirk. Dirk knows he's there. Dirk takes him out. Someone's going to try and get those bombs, though. If you're West Virginia and if you're Carolina, someone's got to stay back. No one is staying back right now with the number three who just spawned in. But big scrap time right here for the mouth or the uh. <laughs> that's almost like a Mountaineers, man. <laughs> that's, a, that's a college. Or for the Thunder, big scrap time. <laughs> and Derp, not a good chow by Derp. He probably should just lay down and let them chow him. Only yes, and but while we were distracted by that, West Virginia went and got spawned, and they're on next. So this is big from the Thunder. Sorry, bringing it back. Had that five and ten start, six and four cents. Code flashed here in the close. West Virginia with the setup. Number three, he is breaking through on the flank. Wilson pick it up. Two players watching it for West Virginia. QB gets the kill. This, this right here is where West Virginia struggles, man. They get easily broken. Too many people watching one area. And that is exactly what just happened. As Carolina now recovers on the point. West Virginia, they, they need to get rotations. Here. They're up 40 points. But you're chowing old with 15 seconds. And now number four with a clear path to get next. Number four, that is brother. And you do not want to run into him back here. His brother and gets one. But gets took out. He is traded off. Did a good job of recovering right there. Split splunks. <laughs> Jesus. Split spawns. That's a tongue twister. But it West Virginia comes out victorious in the battle of spawns. What is the fire? I said it's Friday. <laughs> long day, man. Long day. Yeah. M17 and 14 with 50 seconds on the hill. Code sees Vladdy. Good comms, and Derp's going to take him out. Big three-piece, four-piece now for the Thunder. Somebody hop on the hill, my God. Jesus, so literally all of Carolina hadn't even spawned in yet. Jeez. Now, if West Virginia can keep this up, this will be a huge comeback because they were down by quite a bit. 100%. And I'm not afraid to admit it because the whole league knows it, but West Virginia... They're a team that if they're hot, they're hot. But once they're chalk, they're chalk. There's no coming back from it. So this will be a big statement of victory for them as Eat You Up is going to take out Hubie. Eat his own name. <laughs> yeah. You see the setup here by the Thunder. Is Vladdy getting chowed? That's brother and up top. Brother and chow in the back. Big kill from Sorry. That's a three-piece out of Sorry. 21 and 19. Just about got a fourth. I can't be biased when I'm up here, man. <clears throat> Brother with two down in the feed. Sorry with the answer on Hubie. Brethren. Oh my goodness. Gets took out by Sorry. Carolina trying to get set up on next with one still old. The Thunder actually child old. Three down in the feed for Carolina. Really has, the roles has reversed to start this game. It was constantly Thunder down in the kill feed, but now it is constantly Carolina. West Virginia has spawned. Actually, they're split right now. Code the man just trying to soak up this time. A big kill from brother protecting his, protecting his teammate as Vladdy trying to take out Code and Hubie there gets neither. Gets one though. Can he get the second? And he does get the second. Oh my goodness. A big kill from Vladdy. And now it is going to be rush time for Carolina. And they're just going to throw everyone on that heel. And it worked. 
20 seconds left. I can guarantee a West Virginia probably still going to try and land off of this P5, and I do agree, P5 sucks on this map. But the team's doing a decent job of holding it down. A lot of points as Sorry clears the hill, and that's going to do it, man. A big clear there, and as we said, West Virginia, they're, they're going to go for those scraps, man. They're like FaZe. You know, they love the scraps, and take them out there in a 250 to 198 victory. I'm going to shot. I expected Carolina to take this. After the control. But really good stuff on West Virginia for, uh, <clears throat> I mean, they were getting a little bit tilted last game, but they came back and they pushed through it and they put on a good showing. 100%. We'll get. <coughs> Welcome back. What? You like cut out for a bit. Alrighty. We're now just waiting on Derpy to join the voice chat. Hello. Hey guys, congratulations on the win. Thank you. A um, little shaky tonight. I think um I don't think a, a lot of people might have expected this from Carolina, but they're much improved from last time. Um, a close search and destroy. Um, we'll, we'll talk all about that later. I, we Mainly, I want to talk about the control. West Virginia completely got destroyed in the control, man. How did you guys rebound after that game? Buddy, you want to you wanna speak this time? <laughs> I mean, they, it was a bad game. They really had a good setup. They caught us off guard the first round. Uh, sorry, Brandon basically and I pushed A, thinking Derp and Amp, you know, leaving them alone. So that was our mistake. Kind of went downhill from there, got caught in the second round. But we, we understood they had a good setup and, you know, we made some mistakes. And we were like, okay, we're not going to let this happen again because we just got embarrassed. And uh, it shouldn't have been 3-0. 3-2 maybe would be more realistic, but... We didn't deserve any more in that game, but it's not a problem. You know, we're a team and we, we work together. Pretty much summed it all up. How was the columns heading into that game four, though? You know, obviously uh, uh, you're up 2 nothing in the series, and um, I mean, it was it was a blowout. And to lose a, a game like that, um, was any, you know, any signs of anyone being chalked heading into that game four, or was it just a reset for you guys? Uh, I, w I would say... We, we more so focused on resetting. I wouldn't say anyone was shocked. We just knew, you know, if we just kept our comms up, if we focused on going forward and getting that win as a team, we would uh, regain. And that's pretty much all we did, you know, kept everything as positive as possible. Yes, yeah, definitely. Um, in that search and destroy, you guys like to go down two to four and then just win four straight to win the game. Um, <laughs> big plays there, though. But, you know, you're down two to four. Um, what's the game plan to get your, yourselves back in it? Hmm. I'll live with that. Yep. I mean, it's, it was just like a shaking things up, you know, because first two, three rounds is just kind of like feeling out the opponent. I feel like they pretty much did similar things every round. I mean, obviously, sometimes they push B, but once they figure out they, they don't go middle at all, I was able to go through the middle and just start picking them up at some point. And, you know, we kind of all adjusted. We varied what we do. We already knew if we kill Widow, uh, it's, you know, we have 99.9% .9 chance of winning that round. So we kind of fo focused on, you know, killing him if possible. Once he's dead, we just push forward because, you know, we're pretty much sure that we're, we're going to get on top. No offense to anybody else, just the way it is. Alrighty, so you take them down, you stay in the winner's bracket, and now you play an all-too-familiar foe in Team Unfortunate. Just played six days ago. Um, didn't go your way, but uh, w what do you guys look to do different without giving away strats, I guess, when you go to face Unfortunate for the second time in a week? 
I would say uh, more so focusing on a team alongside that positivity, actually practicing more than we should in order to get that W. Anything from you, Vladdy, on that? Yeah, I mean, I agree with this guy, you know, keep our comms and stuff. You know, sometimes we, as a team, certain individuals, including me, we get a little heated, heated and stuff, so we got to try not to get chalked if they start spawn trapping us like last time and stuff like that. So I feel like, you know, we've we've got like a bunch of anger. We, we took it out of our system, so at this point I feel like we, we can push to our max, you know. Of course, of course. Fire, you got anything? Uh, I just wanted to say that I'm pretty impressed with how you guys handled yourselves. I, uh, I'll fully admit I expected Carolina to take that second hard point from you. But really good job. Uh, well, as you said, not letting the previous game affect you. And uh, showing up strong in the next one. Yes, sir. Alrighty, well, we'll go ahead and end things. From our end, once again, a West Virginia victory, 3-1 to one over the Carolina Warriors. They will play Team Unfortunate for the second time in one week. We will see you guys then. Once again, we've got a game at 1230 as well. Uh, don't know if it's going to get streamed or not. I'm really hoping it is. But um, it is between the Chicago Exceed and Iniquity Cult, 1230 a.m. Eastern Time. We hope to see you there. Yes, sir. Love you guys. <laughs> Love you too. <laughs>